hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we will discuss the road not taken by robert frost the poem the road not taken uses the extended metaphor of a traveler in the woods to explore the impact of choices an extended metaphor is a version of metaphor that extends over the course of multiple lines paragraphs or stanzas of prose or poetry so the main theme of the poem the road not taken revolves around choice choice makes a big difference in the grand scheme of lives when the speaker reaches the fork in the road he's traveling along he spends a while considering his two options he wishes that he could travel both and he examines the nature of each each road in order to make the best choice he can the poem the road not taken is about making choices you will make many choices in your life and those those choices can come with many different thoughts and many different impacts so the basic point which the poem states is that that choice is very important and in this poem the fork road is basically used to symbolize the choice so the main theme and the main point in this poem is making a choice or making a decision now let's come to the summary of a poem as the poem the road not taken opens the speaker has just met a fork in the road that he is traveling the woods are yellow in color so the yellow color shows that it's the season of autumn the fork offers the speaker a choice of roads and the reader quickly comes to understand that these roads symbolize choice in general every person reaches countless forks in the road during the course of their lives and each has to make choices based on what limited information they have and at that time so in first stanza we see that the speaker has just met a fork road and uh, the season is, season is autumn and the fork road symbolize the choice the, the decision making which the per every person met in his or her life in the second stanza we see that speaker chooses a road which is more grassy the speaker assumes that this road is used less because of grass and hence more unique. The speaker chooses the grassy road because it is less used so it's more unique and it offers more experiences. In the third stanza the speaker notes that both of the roads equally lay that morning and no one appears to have traveled either one today because the leaves are still yellow rather than black with mud from other shoes here the process of making a choice ends and and the poet choose one road and think that he can keep the first road for another time but he realizes that one road always leads to another road which leads to another and so on and so he doubts that he will ever be back at this exact fork in the road again so in this stanza we see that the poet has made a choice to choose one road but he also thinks that he will choose the other road some other time but later on he realizes that in life he will met too many forks in future so it is it, it is very difficult to choose the other road and the same fork road in future similarly in life when we make a decision or when we make a choice then it is very difficult for us to choose the other choice or choose the other contemporary decision at that time because in future we will meet many other choices and we will face many other decisions and choices so whenever you make a decision or make a choice it it is very important and you should make it very wisely in the last stanza, the speaker tells that I will tell the story of Fork Road to everyone that how he was stuck in the process of decision and making a choice. And 
he will tell people that he chose one which was less used. So this was all about the poem The Road Not Taken and we can conclude this poem like and it summarizes, the poem summarizes that the process of making a decision and making a choice is very important. The poem takes a fork road as a symbol and explains that how much making a choice is difficult and important. So this is all about the poem The Road Not Taken and I hope that uh, the poem will be clear. Thank you very much for watching.